everyone, it's Eric here from My525XL, just giving you another update on the tank automation. Um, if you looked at my previous videos, I installed the DOS, um, Neptune DOS, and automated it for water changes, so it's working great. I've got 2.5 gallons changing every day between 5.30 and 7.30. Uh, working like a charm, I did my first replenish of the salt water on the weekend, and yeah, no complaints. It's working exactly um, how it's supposed to. Um, last week I added some Anthias, uh, female right here, beautiful orangey color, male right there in the back, more red, uh, acclimated really nicely, nobody's squawking or fighting, uh, everybody's getting along with the tank, so I was really thrilled with that. I think livestock wise I'm going to leave it where it is, um, I don't want to tempt fate, so I think I'm just going to let everyone get along, let the tank do its thing. Um, the green hair algae pissing me off um, <laughs> I've never had to battle this algae this long before I've been doing this 10 years I think I've had two outbreaks this is by far the longest so I got to run some um, uh, what do you call it phosphan I think and help with those phosphates again my readings are zero but it's because the algae is competing for those levels to bring it down um, I I'm in, still doing a lights out, so I'll keep doing that. Uh, I just turn on for a couple hours at night while I'm feeding, give the corals a bit of a uh, bit of a treat. You can see my leather coral right now. The um, polyps are just starting to extend because I turned the lights on about 10 minutes ago, so I guess they're getting in their their dinner, so to speak. Uh, photosynthesis. Um, other than that, I think everybody is quite happy. Uh, everything's working well. Just got to keep battling that algae. I keep. I was hoping the automatic water changes would really help out. Um, I don't see a substantial increase in the algae. I just, I still see it. So I'll get that phosphan going. Um, one of the guys reminded me of it in a post in a previous video. So I'm going to do that. I still have my trigger fish with the Popeye. Um, I don't know what to do with this. I think I'm going to put her into quarantine and see if I can get something to treat it with uh, you know i hear water quality is the issue then i hear parasite it could be a parasite it's not spread to any of the other fish uh, so i'm not sure that it is a parasite um, somebody suggested a fresh water dip for 10 minutes i'm not sure that's a good idea um, 10 minutes is probably a little long uh, so i'll have to do some more reading um, i was hoping i could find something more uh, substantial or tangible on on YouTube or the or googling around to see what the treatments are but <clears throat> it's kind of all over the map to be honest so uh, it has been at least four weeks for this for this girl and her Popeye and uh, feel really bad about it <laughs> so I'm gonna have to try something different so anyway that is the update on the 525 automatic water changes working like a charm Everybody in the tank's getting along. Um, I did put down a new layer of sand bed just to get the uh, microbacteria built up again. Um, I was cleaning it out because of the uh, um, algae clumps that I was getting. So uh, I don't see much evidence of new stuff forming, which is good. I um, haven't seen really any cycling happening yet either. So I'll see what happens or transpires there. I did add trochus snails, so they seem to be doing their job, although I can't find them readily right now you can see some green hair algae there <sighs> frustrating these guys always want to get in the picture eh? and I got some snails there also just hanging out so that's the update hope you guys enjoyed any questions comments drop them down below suggestions on the Popeye please leave a comment thanks a bunch have a great day and happy reefing